for our first stop, we've decided to choose Paya, Kosovo. We are at Dwindi River and waterfalls and I can tell you that in the city, back in Paya, there is something like 36 degrees and I cannot actually stand it. But here it's quite, quite cold, I would say, and you can actually rest from that heat that we've seen all the way here. This is an awesome place. Just because of that cold breeze, I can stay here like forever after all that heat that we've had all the time. Okay. Quite an easy path with a series of bridges and you can enjoy the sound of the river and the cold breeze from the waterfall. We will go up there to Ranachi Cave, the Sleeping Beauty. And as you hike up, the heat strikes again. No more cold breeze. So we hiked up to the top of the waterfall, hoping to get into the cave as well. The hidden gems. So a path leading just next to the rock, so you can actually see the waterfall from just up above. quiet as you walk away from the waterfall and you can just follow this path but you have to be very careful I would say you definitely don't want to fall the water floats like mad we are going back We are entering the cave one by one and we left the dog outside because they are not allowed so we'll, we'll have to make and it's definitely way colder so very good for me together we're going to visit about 250 meters of this cave which is separated in four different parts here's the first part which is colder and more narrow than the other so this cave is all naturally formed by the water flow and 2016 was opened for the first time for the visitors Stalactites are the stones that grow from up down and when they leave they form stalagmites which are formed from down up. One centimeter of that is grown for about 100 years. This way over here continues about 70 meters and connects with the other entry of the cave that you saw outside where you got your tickets. Sometimes you can hear the water but never see it because it's very down below. Over here you can see the symbol of this cave which is a connection between a stalactite and stalagmite. It's the oldest one they found in this cave from now so far. So that way continues about 880 meters and the exploring is still continuing. Till now the whole cave is about 3620 meters. And again, he is transported up and down. In Kosovo you have to treat every single driver as a BMW driver. Because they don't use indicators, they think they are the most important on the road and everybody knows what they're going to do. So basically I can predict more what my fiance is going to do than actually drivers here. So it wasn't too bad to cross to Kosovo with a dog, so no problems at all. They don't really check the dog's passport, they don't really care about the dog. This is how it looks really, they just care about the insurance of the car and basically if you've got your own passport. A lot of unfinished buildings with no elevation, but it's quite common I can see. But there is also quite a lot of beautiful houses and quite a lot of expensive cars usually on foreign plates but with the locals inside of them so during the 
holidays they are just coming from countries like Sweden, Deutschland, Germany, Austria and other countries.